Less than 24 hours after the GP ends, we are back at Fox Valley Off-Road for the hair scramble. So here you can see me kind of smiling and that's because I unloaded my bike and tried kicking it over and it there was nothing. The bike absolutely refused to start. So this is honestly just like the scenario at Atkinson where no matter what I tried to do, the bike wouldn't start. So I would be ignorant not to start this episode without thanking Nicholas. I'm going to try and pronounce this Unold, I think is the last name, how you pronounce it. But Nicholas helped me kick my bike for a little bit and tried jump starting it with me and still nothing. The bike would not start. So that comes to our next shout out, Eric Wheelwright. He offered a spark plug and I switched out my spark plug and my bike started first kick. So huge shout out to both Nicholas and Eric. You guys <laughs> saved my day. So that's why the smile's on my face. I got my bike started so the day isn't completely ruined. And now we are heading to the line. As usual, I am racing the Open C class. And today there are 30 other riders within this class. So I decided to start my bike in neutral rather than in gear just because of the issues that I was having. So I didn't really get a good start. And then right here, this guy in the Kawasaki stalls in front of me. So I don't really have a line around him. And I am at, I'm in last place, it feels like. I am really in the back of the pack. So clearly, based off of these first few minutes, Today is not really shaping up to be my day. So when you get a bad start like this, it's a constant struggle of wanting to push early on to get around as many people as possible or deciding to hang back and conserve energy and just slowly get around people as the race goes on. Your mind it really wants to get around as many people as possible just because of all the energy and excitement early on in the race, but really you want to try and keep a level head, and honestly I didn't keep a level head. I was trying to get around as many people as possible early on in the race here just because I was frustrated with myself, but ideally it would have been better just to try and hang back and then slowly pick people off one by one because it is a hot day today it's even hotter than the gp that was yesterday so hot days and hair scrambles can really wear you out fast so i'm going to stop talking here for a second there's a little bit of a situation that comes up on this coming uphill so I'll let you guys watch it and then I'll tell you my thoughts after we go through it. Come on, dude. So during the race, I was very upset with what happened here. I It felt like it was an intentional takeout, but... Looking back at the GoPro, I think both him and I made a mistake. I think I was a little too all over the place with my line choice, and I think he was just making a very aggressive pass early on, maybe a little too aggressive, and then we just both came into each other and crashed. Obviously, he wasn't trying to take me out by any means. I mean, really, why would you want to do that? He was just trying to get around me and maybe chose a bad line to try and do that. But hopefully a lesson for everyone here is just keeping cool. We're both probably upset with each other. He was probably really upset with me because he probably thought I tried taking him out. I was upset with him because we both crashed there. But really all I said was, come on, man. We're not screaming at each other. We're not cussing at each other. We're not shoving each other around. We both kept our cool. Uh, I just said, come on, man. And then we both started our bikes and went on with our race. And ideally, that's what you'd want to do in that type of situation. Mistakes happen. I made a mistake. He made a mistake. Hopefully, we both learn from it because 
we both crashed and you don't really want to spend time on the ground in a race so uh, hopefully a lesson for everyone there we're coming into the final part of the track before ending lap one here and there's a few riders that I'm just trying to keep up with at this point now for those of you who watch my GP videos you'll know I raced the GP before the hair scramble uh, so the GP was the day before this race and to be honest I was exhausted after that race and it, it didn't get any better for this race so I'm racing tired and I'm just trying to survive at this point which isn't really a good thing since it's only lap one but Again, we have this group of riders here that I'm trying to keep up with and maintain some sort of pace. So we come to the finish here, and this is a similar section to the GP. Actually, for this race, all the hills that we went up for the GP, we went down for this race, and then all the hills that we went down for the GP, we went up for this race. There's a little bit of carnage here at the finish line for lap one. One guy goes down here, and then another guy goes down here in this S turn, so make two passes. I know that first guy on the Yamaha, he was not in my class. He had a 900 number, which is a light C rider, but um, still a pass is a pass and then I just look behind me because I know I'm not riding to my full capability and I really don't want to hold anyone up so I was gonna let anyone behind me make an easy pass on me there but no one went around so I do end up passing the guy that was in front of me With it being such a hot day, you'll notice quite a few riders are pulled over as the race goes on. It, it was just so exhausting racing in such hot conditions, and it feels like this year that's all it's been, at least during the summer. It's been extremely hot for all the hair scramble races, and it's like the complete opposite of last year, where last year it was raining for all the races during the summer so it it's interesting just the difference in the weather at from year to year but this year yeah we we've definitely got our fair share of hot summer races so i am really looking forward to some fall racing a nice crisp 60 degrees and a hair scramble that would be perfect but here, coming in on lap two, I make a mistake here, which is interesting because I already know the track, so um, make a mistake there just because I was looking at that rider in front of me rather than looking at the trail, uh, and I I don't get passed. I actually get lapped. That's Steven Perkins once again getting around me, and he was on the rails today. He was flying through the track. I, I I just shook my head as he was passing me because he he was going so fast and he ended up getting the overall for the morning race today. So congratulations to him. He was on fire. As I said, a lot of people are pulling over to get a break just because it's so hot. And to be honest, that's really the only way you could get a break. There weren't very many sections where you could rest for this track, and there weren't really many sections where you could pull to get a drink out of your camel pack. You really had to pull over in order to do that. Or you could be like me and just be begging that you see the white flag or the checkered flag sometime soon. I didn't really pull over at all during this race, which maybe I should have just to take a small break clear my head 
uh, get my breath and then uh, get back and try and push a little bit more. But regardless, still putzing along here in these last sections before we finish up lap number two. Coming out to scoring, finishing up lap number two here, we're moving on to lap number three, and things are getting more and more spread out. Throughout the entire race, I was within 20th to 21st. Uh, it was really not my finest hour on a dirt bike. I feel like I rode good given this was my first time ever doing a double header race weekend. In all my time of racing a dirt bike, which it's been six years, I've never raced two days back to back. I've always chosen um, either a Saturday race or a Sunday race, but finally I'm switching things up this weekend and um, doing both the Saturday and Sunday race. And it's something that I want to do in the future too. It's just this is something you need to prepare for. I was not hydrating throughout the week and I'll be honest, I wasn't eating very well either and that really showed on race day because just how I felt after the Saturday GP alone and then having a race the next day, it, it doesn't really help your recovery when you don't eat well and when you don't hydrate. So. Um, it's a learning experience. You learn every time you get on the dirt bike and every time you try something new. So um, next time I will definitely be better prepared. But again, this is something that I want to continue doing, these Fox Valley doubleheaders. It, it was a lot of fun, to be honest. So unlike other Fox Valley off-road races that I've done, uh, this race, towards the end of the race at least, things really strung out for me. and. I was really riding by myself. Other races, I've been battling with multiple people uh, towards the end of the race, which made things really exciting, but that's just not how it worked out today, which, I mean, not every race is going to be exciting and going to be a hit, but regardless, we finished up lap number three, and now we're moving on to lap number four. So I don't think I've shown this Part of the track yet. This is towards the beginning of the lap and this is in the lower sections of the park here. Um, I remember in the first hair scramble or round number one for this year, uh, this section was the section that I was feeling really good in and feeling really smooth. But today that wasn't the case. I just couldn't get my rhythm down in this section and couldn't get speed or anything. I was just gassing it a little bit and then turning, then gassing and really lugging it. So I uh, couldn't get a feel down for this section today, unfortunately. But for future reference, that's definitely going to be a section of the park that I really start practicing because this park, for those of you who don't know, you can ride here um, on any non-race weekend and also on Wednesday nights so um, I'll put their website in the description so if you're interested in riding but might not be interested in racing uh, you can check it out so we come to finish lap number four and we're moving on to now lap number five Like what I did for the first part of the lap, here I'll show you guys a little bit more of what the trail looked like for the last section of the lap. I'd say this was the last 25% of the lap, if not maybe a little bit less, but I really like this section of the track. Uh, the trail was kind of cut around the GP trail uh, that we raced yesterday with a few added sections such as right here. This is new trail or at least trail that they haven't raced in years based on what they made it sound like but 
Overall, I would say this section was probably my favorite part of the track uh, that we raced. I'd say the hills were, they were all right, but honestly, my hill riding needs a lot of work. So here, we're finishing up lap number five and moving on to lap number six, but nothing really happens for lap number six, so we are going to fast forward to the end of lap six, which turns out to be the end of the race. So if you haven't noticed already, which it's been pretty clear, but today wasn't my best day of racing. I ended up finishing 20th out of 29, but overall, I had a very fun weekend, and you can't complain too much when you uh, spend time on your dirt bike. So, although it wasn't really the finish I was hoping for, unlike yesterday, the GP was one of my better finishes of the year. Um, still, this hair scramble, I had a ton of fun. So, I want to give a huge shout out to Stephen Perkins for. Uh, all the help that you gave me throughout the weekend and also my girlfriend Cassidy for bearing the heat and supporting me. It, it was definitely a long weekend, but again, a fun one. So at the end of the race, I opened up my radiator cap and there was not a whole lot of coolant in my bike. So that's an issue that I really need to get figured out, and hopefully I will get it figured out. I'll keep you guys updated on that, uh, but regardless, thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.